Welcome to Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids. Let us have Grade 9 Easy Round. In the Easy Round, participants are not allowed to use scratch paper. Each item must be answered in 15 seconds. Final answers must be written on an answer sheet before the time expires. Before we continue, please subscribe for more Math Contest Drills for Filipino Kids videos. Question number one. What value of C will make X squared minus 16X plus C a perfect square trinomial? Again, what value of C will make X squared minus 16X plus C a perfect square trinomial? Go! Time is up. The answer is 64. Question number 2. Solve for x in the quadratic equation, x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Again, solve for x in the quadratic equation, x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. Go! Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's negative 2 or 3. Question number 3. What is the sum of the roots of the equation 3x squared minus 12x plus 4 equals 0? Again, what is the sum of the roots of the equation 3x squared minus 12x plus 4 equals 0? Go. Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's 4. Question number 4. Suppose y varies directly as x. If x equals 4, then y equals 9. Find the value of y when x equals 6. Again, suppose y varies directly as x. If x equals 4, then y equals 9. Find the value of y when x equals 6. Go! Time is up. The answer is 27 over 2. Question number 5. Simplify the expression square root of 72x raised to 7. Again, simplify the expression square root of 72x raised to the 7th power. Go! Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's 6x cubed times square root of 2x or 6x cubed square root of 2x. Question number 6. Given a rhombus with diagonals of length 6 cm and 9 cm, what is the area of the rhombus? Again, Given a rhombus with diagonals of length 6 cm and 9 cm, what is the area of the rhombus? 
go Time is up, let us see the answer. It's 27 squared centimeters. Question number 7. In a parallelogram, two adjacent angles have measures 3x plus 10 degrees and 2x minus 5 degrees. Find the value of x. Again, in a parallelogram, two adjacent angles have measures 3x plus 10 degrees and 2x minus 5 degrees. Find the value of x. Go! Time is up. Let us see the answer. The answer is 35. Question number 8. If x raised to 0.213 equals 5, then what is 1 less than x raised to 0.426? Again, if x raised to 213 thousandths equals 5, then what is 1 less than x raised to 426 thousandths? Go! Time is up. The answer is 24. Question number 9. If R to S equals 3 to 2 and S to T equals 5 to 8, what is the ratio R to T equal to? Again, if R to S equals 3 to 2 and S to T equals 5 to 8, what is the ratio R to T equal to? Go! Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's 15 to 16. Last question for this round. How long is the hypotenuse of a right triangle if its two legs measure 2 cm and 5 cm? Again, how long is the hypotenuse of a right triangle if its two legs measure 2 cm and 5 cm? Go! Time is up. Let us see the answer. It's a square root of 29 centimeters. Did you get all 10? This time, let us show the solutions to 15 second questions. Question number 1. What value of C will make x squared minus 16x plus C a perfect square trinomial? We know that the coefficient of the leading term in the quadratic expression x squared minus 16x plus C is equal to 1. Hence, in completing the square, we get the value of b divided by 2 and then square. In here, b is negative 16. So we have negative 16 divided by 2 and then square. And this is equal to negative 8 squared. So that will be 64. Hence, 
the value of C is 64. Question number 2. Solve for x in the quadratic equation x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. We're going to solve for the quadratic equation using factoring. We have x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. The coefficient of the leading term x squared is just equal to 1. Hence, we know that this is a product of two binomials whose first terms are x. The factors of 6 are 3 and 2. The middle term is negative, hence we have x minus 3 times x plus 2. And then we equate each factor to 0, that is by the um, 0 property of multiplication. We have x minus 3 is equal to 0. Then we have x equals 3, adding 3 to both sides. The other factor, x plus 2, is equal to 0. Subtracting 2 from both sides, then we get x equals negative 2. Hence, the answer is the set whose elements are negative 2 and 3. Number 3. What is the sum of the roots of the equation 3x squared minus 12x plus 4 equals 0? We know that in a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, the sum of the roots r1 and r2 is given by negative of b over a. In the equation 3x squared minus 12x plus 4 equals 0, a is equal to 3, b is equal to negative 12, and c is equal to 4. Hence, the sum of the roots r1 and r2 is equal to the negative of negative 12 over 3, and that is equal to positive 4. Question number 4. Suppose y varies directly as x. If x equals 4, then y equals 9. Find the value of y when x equals 6. From the model of direct variation, y is equal to kx. We can get the constant of variation. If we substitute x equals 4 and y equals 9, we have 9 is equal to k times 4. Dividing both sides by 4, we'll get the constant of variation as equal to 9 over 4. Hence, the equation of variation is y is equal to 9 over 4 x. And if we're going to get the value of y when x equals 6, we substitute x equals 6 to the equation. 9 over 4 times 6. 6 over 4 is 3 over 2. Hence, the final answer is 9 times 3 over 2. And that is 27 over 2. Number 5. Simplify the expression square root of 72 x raised to the 7th power. We know that 72 can be factored as 36 a perfect square times 2. Also, x raised to 7 can be factored as x raised to 6 a perfect square times x. Hence, the simplified form is 6, that's the square root of 36, x cubed, that, that is the square root of x raised to 6, is square root of 2x. Number 6. Given the diagonals of a rhombus, the area 
is the product of the two diagonals D1 and D2 divided by 2. In our given, the diagonals of the rhombus are 6 cm and 9 cm. Hence, the area is equal to 6 times 9 divided by 2. That is 54 over 2. 54 divided by 2 is 27. Hence, we have 27 squared centimeters. Number 7. In a parallelogram, two adjacent angles have measures 3x plus 10 degrees and 2x minus 5 degrees. Find the value of x. We know that opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel. Hence, the adjacent angles are supplementary because we have two parallel lines and a transversal. Adjacent angles can be seen as same side interior angles. Therefore, adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. So we have 3x plus 10 plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 180 degrees. 3x plus 2x is 5x. 10 minus 5 is 5. And then subtracting 5 from both sides, we will have 180 minus 5. So we have 5x is equal to 175. Dividing both sides of the equation by 5, we will get x is equal to 175 divided by 5, that is 35. Number 8. If x raised to 213,000 equals 5, then what is 1 less than x raised to 426,000? From the equation x raised to 213,000 equals 5, Squaring both sides of this equation, we will get x raised to 426,000 equals 25. Hence, 1 less than x raised to 426,000 is 25 minus 1. That will be 24. Number 9. If R to S equals 3 to 2, S to T equals 5 to 8, what is the ratio R to T? If we multiply each term in the ratio R to S by 5, and also multiply each term in the ratio s to t by 2, we will get 15 to 10, and s to t will become 10 to 16. That is r to s to t. So we have r to s to t is equal to 15 is to 10 is to 16. Hence, the ratio R to T is equal to 15 is to 16. Question number 10. How long is the hypotenuse of a right triangle if its two legs measure 2 cm and 5 cm? In the Pythagorean theorem, we know that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two legs of the right triangle. So we have C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. 
substituting the values of the legs of the right triangle will have c is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 5 squared and that is the square root of 4 plus 25 hence the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of 29 centimeters that will be all Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more math contest drills for Filipino kids videos.